Several months ago, I did a video showing how to programmatically take a screen capture in Windows using the command line. My solution involved using a tool called NurCommand, which is a free third-party software program published by a company named NurSoft. The company seems to be run by an individual developer named NurSofer. Recently, a viewer left a comment on that video warning that NurSoft software contains malware and that it shouldn't be used. So in this video, I'm going to show you the result of my research into this claim. First off, I want to say that when I worked on that initial video, I was led to believe that the software utilities created by Nursoft are safe and widely used among the Windows community. The fact that it's endorsed by the Chocolatey Package Manager organization, I took that as evidence of pretty good vetting. I tried finding anything specific about whether this software could contain malware, and that led me to a blog for an anti-malware company named Malware Labs. On their website, they noted that the NurSoft program's capabilities can be used for malicious purposes, such as being used to retrieve license keys out of the Windows registry. But that in itself doesn't suggest that the software itself has anything malicious built into it. That's more of an issue to do with how the user uses the software. But then I found another blog called Born's Tech and Windows World, and that had a more detailed level of criticism. The author of this blog acted on his own skepticism and ran the NurSoft command launcher program with the inspection of some process monitoring tools. What he found is a vulnerability in this program that makes it susceptible to a type of attack called DLL hijacking. So what is DLL hijacking? It's a vulnerability in the way that Windows loads DLL files. Basically, if you have a compromised version of a DLL library within the same directory that you're running a program, when you're running that program, it'll try to load its DLL dependencies from the local folder before it tries to search the system folders. And if it pulls the compromised version of that DLL dependency, then malicious code within that library will run and can do things that could damage your computer. You could find other videos on YouTube that demonstrate this hack. However, keep in mind that in order for this security flaw to be exploited, the user would have to, one, somehow have a compromised version of one of NurSoft's specific dependencies already on his computer, and two, the NurSoft program would have to be run in the same directory as that compromised DLL. So I think this Reddit post about that particular blog article has a response here that pretty well sums up what I just said that in order for this security vulnerability to become an issue, the user would have to be somewhat reckless and careless and end up with a compromised DLL. So while this is a noteworthy vulnerability for developers and maybe some users of this program, I don't think it's overall an alarming matter, especially the way that I have it set up to install by the Chocolatey Package Manager. Based on this research, I have no reason to think that this software contains any malware or other malicious executables. What do you think of NurSoft software? Do you use any of these utilities in your development environment? Are you concerned about the DLL hijacking vulnerability? Feel free to write your opinion in the comments section below. And also don't forget to like this video and subscribe my channel to keep me making more content like this. I hope this clears up any issues for you regarding that previous video. So have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.